Well, it's been about 10 days, unfortunately, since we've been in the field, but it's already five o'clock in the evening and we're just now getting ready to head back out. Of course, more rain coming in tonight. Um, I'm gonna go finish the field that we got rained out in 10 days ago. We just checked, just checked it, and those beans are already starting to push. So nothing like having beans 10 days apart in the same field, but what do you do? So I'm gonna go back out, keep planting beans. I think I'm gonna pass you guys off to dad, and he is going to quote unquote start corn planting on a Thursday so that his grandpa always said, you never start anything on Friday that you can't finish in the same day. So he's gonna plant the sweet corn this evening so that we can say corn planting has started and he can get around that whole superstition if you wanna believe in that at all. Well, as Jared said, we're gonna try to get started planting corn today. It's Thursday, May 2nd. A little later than normal. I usually like to start out by doing our little first patch of sweet corn. The planter's clean, I don't have to worry about cleaning anything out. And then when that's done, I can just go straight into field corn. Put a couple hundred gallon in here. Put a couple hundred gallon in the tractor. And uh, that way if we end up going to a different farm, we don't have too much weight running down the road. So we'll shut the planter off. Open the tanks on the tractor. do I've got all the sweet corn measured out and I'll just set them in I'll just it's not very much I'll just put it in these little mini hoppers and we'll plant that 100 feet or so and there we go it's starting to move now we'll walk back to the shop like I said I've got a little bit of sweet corn pre-measured and uh, we'll grab that put it in the mini hoppers and take about 10 seconds to plant it out so a lot of work for 10 seconds of planting but when it's ready it's worth it so we've got eight rows this is a yellow and this is a bicolor. So we'll put the yellow in the left half of the planter and we'll put the bicolor in the right half. Boss has been doing her own tillage tonight. She's been chomping at the bit to get her garden tilled, get it planted.
look like much, but that'll produce a lot of sweet corn for the first planting. And probably more than we'll be able to give away to landlords and family. Well, it's a new day. Dad got all the sweet corn planted for round one. We were supposed to get rain yesterday that the, we thought was going to knock us out, but luckily it didn't come. Um, just a few sprinkles in the morning, nothing that kept us out. So I was able to completely finish spring burn down. Spraying yesterday was actually able to check that off the list, so that's a that's a pretty good feeling. Now we can focus on planting. Dad is running, I think, his second field of corn. He had a pretty rough day yesterday getting it started. It's typical with the first day of any any process. It's just every little bug that happened happens in the first 40 acres and it did so i think he got those worked out he's running again we ended up spending a few hours this morning there's a there's a 120 acre field it's one of our first videos we posted that we worked it early we actually worked it which we don't do very often the reason we worked that one was it got a full pattern drainage tile system put in last July so those settle significantly over the winter um, so we end up having to work those for a few a, a couple times the following years in order to work those tile lines in where they're settling so that's the only reason we're working that field, but we checked it this morning, hoping to get it, hoping to get the final pass done today um, and get that planted soon. But underneath, it was just still too heavy. We just, we, we did a short stretch and we were actually pulling up a little bit of mud and that's just not what we wanted. So we pulled out, we'll try that again tomorrow afternoon, give it another day of 80 degrees, sunny, little bit of wind should change significantly here in the next 24 hours. All right, so right now I am getting ready to switch hybrids. So, so because I'm switching hybrids, I'm trying to run the seed down as low as possible. So I have to keep checking. Make sure they're empty and even. I'd say that's about as even as you can get. So let's go get more seed. And it never fails. You always run out at the wrong end of the field. The seed buggy is way at the other end. my scales turn my talc on conveyor do back hopper and that's all I got to do 
is extremely labor intensive. Well, you guys can see that. I put a little over 2,500 pounds in that one. Let's match it on this side. Simple as that. As much as you hate stopping to put more seed in, it doesn't get much easier than that. So now that I switched hybrids, I have to reset my hybrid acre counter. And then I need to switch my hybrid from my, the 2559 XS that we were planting over to my 2997. Switch. All right, we're switched over and ready to keep planting. over from my population to my variety and yep everything looks good looks like it switched over to the new hybrid just fine if I do my math right
skills. Anytime you've got a breather in your field, which you've got a lot of them, they always lay out right in the middle of the tractor. They can't happen to be right at the edge of the planter. No, they've got to be in the middle of the tractor where you have to completely drive all the way out and around them and hope you miss it. That wasn't too bad. I'd say it's about a 50-50 chance you're 10 feet away or you run it over. It's about eight, a little after eight o'clock now. Uh, I've got probably 25, 27 acres left in this field now. Would make it a, almost a 250 acre day and I didn't get started till a little after 10. So not bad, pretty productive, uh, but I don't know if you can tell in the background, probably not, it's pretty far away still. There is a small front building that wasn't supposed to be there. So may not end up getting to run tomorrow at all. Who knows if this comes through like they're saying or if it dissipates and ends up being nothing. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Before you leave, find that thumbs up button, give us a like, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys in the next one.